Eastbourne College sector has suffered since 2010, cuts in the order of 26%. Now, school funding is bad, but that is terrible. Where's the money gone? Where's the money gone? Where's the money gone? Where's the money gone? We're fighting for our future, really. We face cuts here in this college. We've lost quite a lot of staff. I'm expected to do many more tasks than I would normally do and deal with a lot more students than I really would. I feel myself that I'm very, very tired at the end of the day. And I look around, all my colleagues are like that as well. The main people who have suffered are the students. We've had cuts to EMA, we've had cuts to tutorial provision, enrichment provision, we've had cuts to counselling. Yeah, we've had support staff made redundant and teachers made redundant. The class sizes are increasing and the support is being cut. In our department we work with kids with learning difficulties or behaviour problems and you might have one teaching assistant, one teacher with you know, 17 girls bouncing off the walls and you need you need more. Outside uh, class support, one-to-one yeah, -one additional have... support, which yeah. yeah, never see our Stopped, manager anymore yeah. because Due he's, to the um, cuts, we don't have that support anymore and it makes it more difficult as teachers to deal with the students who need additional support. We are squeezed in terms of what we can get access to, in terms of events, in terms of trips, in terms of training with external organisations, being able to event, attend things like teaching conferences. All of this is all being cut and that is a problem in terms of sort of developing yourself as a teacher. We have students from all levels, students who have been sort of thrown out, if you like, of normal education and they come here and they do really well because of the dedication of the staff that are here. Anybody who walks into the college who's 19 years old before, I think it's the third certain date in August, is not funded to sit any courses any longer. And so basically you're cutting out a huge swathe of people who need a second chance, who need a second shout in education. We have to put in place more of an infrastructure for those kids than you might have to in other areas of the country. So funding is even more important for us because I think we're performing such a strong social need as well as an educational one. Whilst I'm not actually physically out on strike with the union members, um, I am in sympathy with their objectives, absolutely. We've had a 15% pay cut in real terms over the last 10 years. I'm on the same pay now as I was in 2012. I have to have a lodger so that I can make ends meet. The government have awarded teachers in schools 2.75% pay increase this year, which is not enough. Teachers in schools have also had pay cuts in real terms, but they've offered sixth form teachers 1%. That isn't actually funded. The institution has to find that itself. A few days ago, the employer side increased our offer by 0.5%, but again, it's derisory. So we're escalating the action to two more days in November. The new anti trade union laws have, have meant that we've balloted college by college, and so each college that's hit 50% threshold has come out on strike. So at the moment, we've got 25 out of 63 colleges on strike, and then the remaining colleges are being reballoted in order to join the escalating action. We say enough is enough. It's simply unacceptable that sixth form colleges are being so badly treated and that your work is so undervalued. People running courses, running subjects, find that that's taken from them with the pay and the remission that goes with it and they're still running the courses and now on less pay. So their pay has been cut even more than that. And one member contacted me to say, and I'm just about at the point where those last three years out of the last ten that were the best were about to disappear off my pension. So we continue to be cut. We want to say to government ministers that we see that you're saying that you're increasing funding, but we see that you're not getting back even to the level of cuts in 2015, let alone the level of cuts in 2010. I want to say something to the Sixth Form College Association. We get along well with the employer body, but we have won £400 million. We think it should be spent on staff. That's the key resource in the sixth form colleges, and that's enough to pay for 2.75% and the 0.5% they owe us from last year. We demand that money goes in your pay packets, and then we work together to demand the better funding for sixth form students that we need. Do you agree with that? we're out here 
is that 10, 12 years ago there was a banking crisis, not caused by our teachers, not caused by our students, but we are the ones who are clearing up the mess of it. We need to send a message to say that we're going to strike, we're going to continue striking, and we're going to get more strikers out until this situation is redressed. Solidarity! Yeah.